is a street artist in New York City that has been arrested by officials for doing uh, satirical art that basically pokes fun at the surveillance society that we're living in right now. So his name is Assam Adika, and what he did is he put up these advertisements all throughout New York, and they feature, it looks like it was put out by the NYPD, but of course it wasn't, and it features a drone strike and a family running from that drone strike. So. Um, this was something that actually got uh, forensic teams and uh, counter-terrorist officials involved. They finally found out who he was and he did get arrested for this. Now, I want to ask you guys in just a minute whether or not you feel that he should have been arrested for this um, because I I'm wondering whether or not this type of uh, activity can be considered political speech because he's making a political statement about surveillance and the police state that we're living in. Um, but before we get to that question, I want to show you guys a video uh, where he did an interview with uh, Animal New York. Let's take a look. Well, for me, it's really about creating a conversation. We've obviously seen a little bit of press in the last year due to street signs that I was involved with about the possibility of the NYPD authorizing drones to fly in the skies domestically. And I don't think the conversation has reached a mainstream level where we are like talking about this at the dinner table and whether we want this to take place. We have to remember that these are devices that right now internationally are being used to kill people. They're armed, they shoot missiles, we're fighting an illegal war in Pakistan and nobody seems to want to talk about where we're bombing people left and right. I think we should be talking about whether that's technology we want to bring to this country. I, I love a lot of what he said there because first of all when it comes to surveillance and it, when it comes to our privacy rights being violated I often feel like people are just not paying enough attention to it. I mean, we have companies like Verizon developing DVRs that can monitor what we're doing in our own living rooms so they can gather information about our habits and then sell it to advertisers, you know, market it to advertisers. And so things like that are very problematic, but those are stories that don't really get a lot of attention. So, uh, you know, I know that that is a little different from police surveillance. You know, the NYPD has been, uh, criticized for spying on Muslims that were absolutely innocent. There was absolutely no probable cause in these situations, but it didn't matter anyway. So what he's talking about here is really, really important. What, but what are your thoughts, Kim? He says he wants to do this to make uh, the drones, not necessarily just spying drones, but you know, there's, drone strikes are the most egregious, ridiculous thing that nobody's really talking about. And I'm glad that he's putting it out there and bringing attention to it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. And, and that, that was kind of the second part of what he was discussing there. You know, you can't expect to fight terrorism abroad when your country is being a terrorist when you are attacking, when you're doing these signature strikes, when you're attacking, uh, you know, killing, and you consider it collateral damage, when you're killing these innocent women, children, you know, men at a wedding just celebrating. I and think if people knew how many innocent people died, how there's no codified system for when and how and in what cases we should use drone strikes, they would be outraged. So good do for you. Him. Do you really believe that though? Well, I feel like it's outrageous how little it's covered and how little people seem to know in the mainstream. So there's a lack of coverage and I think that there's something wrong with that uh, because look, the mainstream media, especially the corporate media has been, they have their own corporate interests at hand. So there are some stories that won't get enough coverage, but then again, at the same time, you know, media does, will cover stories that will get them the ratings. Sure. And I feel like oftentimes these international stories, stories about what we're doing abroad, don't get the ratings. I feel like the American uh, you know, audience is not interested in what's happening abroad. I know that the majority of them want us out of Afghanistan, they want the troops to come home, but at the same time, I feel like there's this mentality of, well, at least it's not us, it's them. You know, well, we're looking for the terrorists. We're trying to catch terrorists. There, you can't deny that there's a certain population of people out there that are kind of desensitized to what's happening abroad, and they just, you know. Well, you definitely. Mm -hmm. But I applaud him for resisting these drones, even just surveillance drones, because he's. We don't ever want to get into a point where we're okay with drones, and then when we have this conversation, we're just like, oh, it's fine, because mm -hmm. it, it's not fine, and I don't think it's good for us to have an environment where. Drones are commonplace. Drones are normal. Mm -hmm. 
So uh, let's watch the second part of his interview because he kind of delves into the details a little further. So let's take a look. It's that the age old philosophy of fear controls people, right? They're able to do whatever they want as long as we're afraid. Weaponized drones that we use to murder American citizens without due process coming to New York City, I'm not sure I'm cool with that, but who am I to say? You know, if the people want that, that's what the people want, but we're not having that conversation, so that's what I'm here to say. All right, I, I agree with, with uh, his statements 100%. And, you know, he, he did get arrested for putting this street art up, um, and I, I, I can understand why maybe it's, first of all, you can't pretend like you're part of the NYPD, uh, which is what he basically did with that, with the logo and everything. But at the same time, this is political speech that I agree with. I don't know what the consequences will be. I know that at this point he's been arrested. Um, so we'll update you guys as we hear more information about that. But I love that there's someone out there that's fighting against, uh, you know, these drone strikes, that's uh, fighting against the surveillance, the police state that we're living in right now. It, it's inspiring. And and I'm 100% in favor of raising awareness on these issues. Well, if the media is not going to cover it, someone has to do it some way. Exactly. And this is brilliant. Yeah, definitely.